Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. Today we are going to talk about formatting your emails. So what are the things that one needs to keep in mind when you are doing the formatting? Putting up your context is one aspect, but let's see what's more in it. All about fonts, which to use, which not to use. Choosing the right font size, so as font is one aspect, having the right size is very important. Selecting appropriate colors, which one to avoid. Enhancing readability, the use of caps locks, what are the do's and don'ts of it. And at the end, we'll see a conclusion on this. All about fonts. We all know when it comes to email, the first thing that attracts us about the font. How are you using it? Are the words or the text that you've put across readable? Or is it too widely spaced? How is it? So one must use the fonts very correctly or appropriately. You know that fonts comes in a lot of sizes and a lot of styles as well. So which one we should use and which one we should avoid? Let's find it out. The good fonts. Now we all know that we use Times New Roman, Calibri, Georgia or Vardana for that. These are the fonts which are good because the alphabets that has been placed over there are easily readable. At times, there are a lot of fonts wherein we cannot distinguish between B and D and that creates an error for the reader. That's why stick to these fonts only. Similarly, if you see bold and italic, how often are you using it while writing email? One must not write the entire email using the bold or italic format because it creates a trouble for the reader. Italic or bold should be used very carefully only when one needs to highlight certain point. Otherwise, we should avoid it. The bad fonts. I'm sure these texts are very difficult to read. And imagine you receiving an email with this kind of font. So this is absolutely a no-no. The fonts like Comic Sans or Pacifica or Impact should be avoided because the letters over here becomes difficult for the reader to read it. So we must avoid it. Right font size. The font is one aspect, but having the right size is very important. If your font size is too small, you might ask your reader to use a magnifying glass. And of course, we don't want to trouble our readers. At the same time, if your font is too large or too big, the reader has to scroll it multiple times to understand what the message is. So, having the right font size is very important. Even if you see the image, same text can be represented in various font size, but you know which is the appropriate one to see. If you want to read this last line, you need to use a magnifying glass. Imagine the entire email being written in this font size. How troublesome it would be. Similarly, imagine receiving an email with this font size. Looks very good. The letters are very clear. But the entire email is such a big font, it will create trouble. So, the appropriate size one must use or stick to is 10 point to 12 point only. Font color. What color will you use? Black or dark blue is acceptable. Avoid using light colors because it becomes difficult to read. So the font, the font size is important as well as the color that you select. Please avoid writing any text in red color ink because it stands out like you're shouting it out. So one must avoid it. Enhancing readability. Putting up your text is one thing, but when you're putting it across, we also have to enhance it. That is, keep it simple. Make it easy to read. Secondly, humanize it. Now, when I say it, humanize it is like give a human touch to it. Use the polite words like please, kindly, thank you. Do not address or write any email in a robotic tone. Avoid it because that is not what you want to do. You also connect to your recipient when you send across an email. So if you write it in a robotic tone, there will obviously be a disconnect with you and the recipient. Use of caps locks. How much ever you love using caps lock, one must avoid it. 
because it gives out a signal to a recipient that stop yelling at me. Why are you shouting at me? So that appears so loud. Yes, of course, we must use caps lock, but when you're using a proper noun at the starting of the sentences or there's a title that you're going to use. Otherwise, we must avoid using caps lock. Overusing of capitals is absolutely no, no. Doing a conclusion on this topic, if you say the font size matters, if you want your text to be readable and every person must read it, font size will definitely matter. Just take across this message. I'm sure despite having the text been put up here, you have stopped reading way before, isn't it? And by the way, I don't blame you, it's the font. That's all in this topic. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for some more videos.